guys welcome back to another video i am victor and she is franca yeah welcome to our channel <laughs> so we've got a lot of questions yeah and we have made it a very big deal and wanted you to be able to experience it in a very great way the purpose of this whole thing is to be sure that you own the question the answers that are going to come and make it and help your relationship or help you feel better yeah first question is how do you deal the question is or the first question the question is yeah man today i'm his english teacher <laughs> <laughs> the question is how do you deal with a wife who is not working how do you do it how do you do with a wife who is not working i have i have um a little to say about that but how do you deal with it if I if I ask you that question, I think it's um it's a thing of understanding. Yes, between both between parties. Between both parties. Yes. There are some husbands who would choose and prefer that their wives don't work. For sure. It's their ideology. It's their settlement. Yes. There are some partners, husbands who would prefer their wives work. Yes. Is their ideology? Is their big deal? Yes, and there will be some that wouldn't be working for the meantime. Yes, for a purpose. For a purpose. So, um, I think that in this conversation, you have to have a conversation. Is the wife willing to work? Don't want to work, or the husband is the one who is telling the wife not to work. That's so it's a question around um, questions, yeah. and. For that, when you're able to have that conversation, then you'll be able to know the wife's mind and you know the way forward. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, all that needs to be settled down with is the place of understanding. Mm -hmm. For sure. Understanding to mean that if the wife doesn't work, will it affect the family or it won't affect the family? If the wife is working, will it affect the family or it won't affect the family? Yeah. Now, what is the purpose of working? The purpose of working is to be able to go and do somebody's job and you are paid at the end of the month. Or, or do your own job. Or do your own job. You are paid at the end of the month. For sure. The purpose of it all also is to support the family. For sure. Because of the money that is going to come. For sure. But, but on a large scale, you have to ask these questions. Will she, will she work? Is she ready to work? Will she want to work? And what kind of work will she do? At the end, there's a woman who are working, they are making the money, but they are not supporting, they are not helping. Yeah, so... What about that? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, it's a question around questions. Yeah. But, all being said, understanding is the most important thing. Yeah. And also, if you married a woman who isn't working, you married, when she wasn't, she wasn't working before you guys got married, I think... There should be, like, as he's saying, there should be a conversation before, even before the marriage, to know what she wants to do. And if you can set it up, yeah. make sure you set it up after you marry, yeah. but not before you marry. Yeah. Some people I do, some people do before they marry and it goes well. But sometimes, so, um, um, doing after two helps because we were counseled that uh, it's after you do some things, okay. But some people do it and it goes well, and some people do it and it doesn't go well. So yeah. we can imagine all of this. So it's either you set her up after marriage, or you know her mind, or you the man. It's either some men, like he said, some men don't want their wives to work. They yeah. want them to be housewives. Yeah. And so it means that they have the capital, they have everything. Okay, they have the money, they have the luxury and all of that. But if you know you don't have that, and you want your wife to be a housewife, then you should know that there would be a lot of uh, issues going to come and problems and yeah. um, challenges that is going to happen. Mm -hmm. So it's, you said to have a conversation, talk about the challenges, yeah. the do's and don'ts, the, the, the state of your wife's mind, yeah. just your own, because some men feel like if their wives are working, they would make more money than them. So it's yeah. like a threat to them for their wives to work or something, yes. So yeah. Um, I think the understanding, the understanding is, is more important. The conversation too is more. The conversation and understanding is more important. Yeah. Yeah, so, so I, I, and I strongly 
would say that you don't you don't set a woman up when you are not married to her yet. Yes. Strongly would also say that her money is not your money until you marry her. Yes. Her money, money is, his money is not her money until you marry her. For sure. And, and so, and one of the things too about the understanding part is, is around the place of money. Yes. For, for a lot of people, they will need support. They will need help. Yeah. Not everybody's job is going as it's supposed to go. For sure. And once that is happening, we need money to, to live. We need money to survive. We need money to, to fend for each other. Mm. If my money is not working, you should have money that is working. For sure. If your money is not working, I should have money that is working. Mm -hmm. So being able to live with a woman who is not working, I believe is a conversation for these parties to sit down on and talk about it and conclude on it yeah. by themselves. And, and if a partner is not but if um, a partner is not working after marriage, in the, in the marriage, and you know, some partners would be working and ha they'll have all the money, but after marriage, their business goes off, their job spoils, and all of that. And if you're in the marriage, I think you can help search for the job for your partner. You don't necess necessarily tell your wife to go and look for a job or your husband to go and look for a job. You yeah. can help because it's both sides. Yeah. You can help look for the job or help set her up or help you hold him or her and say, okay, yeah, yes. Or you can work together. If you have the business and you are doing and your wife is not working at the moment and you think that she can she support can you, she can join. If you, the woman, you have work yeah. and you think your husband, because he's home, he should just wait. That doesn't mean you should control your husband. Yeah. I know, I know, I know a, a Tyler and a Mason. These people, they are married. Mm -hmm. The Tyler, the wife works with him. Wow. The wife does the tiling as well. Oh, wow. <laughs> so the man imagine. taught him how to tile. Yes. And they do the tiling. Tiling is like floor, tile yeah. that they, they will do. The Mason too, uh, he and the wife, they do the masonry work. Yeah, uh, yeah the wife can carry the, the, <laughs> the, the pong pong to go and put <laughs> the water inside. Like, you know, wow. so, so beautiful. Uh, all all that is dependent on both of you. Yes. If she's not working, will that help you? Mm -hmm. If she's working, will that help you? Yeah. Um, both will depend on, on, on you. Will, yes, both yeah. will depend on you. Sometimes the men are so controversial when it comes to this kind of decision. Yeah. You know, so um, sometimes the men should just calm themselves down a little when it comes to this and how they think so much. Yeah. And, I, and I also mean, believe that I also believe that for you to be able to come to a conclusion on this, uh, you yourself you must know what you want, yeah, as a sure. man and as a woman. Uh -huh. If you don't know what you want and this happen, you can be taken by surprise and a lot will happen. Yeah. Because money counts mm -hmm. so much that if you don't have money in marriage, you will suffer. Yeah. You you will struggle a lot as well. For us. Yeah. For us, when we met, I before we even got married, I already started polluting her mind. Yeah, I'm like she must make a lot of money. And me myself, I I, I always I used to remind myself that I have to make a lot of money because yes. I love life. Not that I love life, life. Yeah, but I love luxury. I love life. I love to look good. I love to party. I love to. I love life. I love, I love my luxury. children too, my husband too, you know, hey. those things. I want to take money and just go buy my husband a car. And then when I met him, he added his own. So it's like, it has really gingered me too. So yeah, at the moment, I'm not working. I'm home, which we have our own understanding. Yeah. We had a conversation. Yeah. We don't even have conversation. No, because we always talk, we are always having conversations. When it comes, we talk about it, we clear it, we move on. Yeah. So it's like we are always talking, talking, talking. So it's like we have understanding at the moment. Yeah. But even though I'm not working at the moment, we are planning on me starting work very yeah. soon. Yeah. So that doesn't mean that he's like, be home always. Like, yeah. So sometimes the women, you should ginger yourself to want to be working. You don't have to leave out the bedding on the men, I hear. So yeah. men too, don't believe in it on the women. It's both sides. Yeah. So by telling her to make more money, the plan and purpose is that even though I am making money, 
my money may not last for long. For sure. It may not last forever. For sure. And then there may come a time where I may need like Charlie thank you to do some deal. I wouldn't want to go to any friend. I wouldn't want to go to any bank. Yeah. But if your partner, your wife has a lot of money, she's a person you will refer back to and say, Charlie, yeah. baby, I didn't think you to do this business. Yeah. And when I, this business is settled or is done, Charlie, we are good to go. Yeah. And you can take the money from her as a loan and pay back. Pay back. And even the money is so much. And um, one thing, what just but, came but into my your work head, and your work, what just your came money. into my mind was um, sometimes when the women are working, they feel like. Um, they have it all because they are making the money that yeah, so their some, husbands so some women and some women can raise their shoulders, shoulders when they are, they are making more they are making money and then they start commanding their husbands even though their husbands too are working and all of that but but if a woman is working and having the money and her husband is not working at the moment i will plead and say that it's not because your husband is not having money, so you ain't, so you are showing him all of those characters. What if he makes money? What if all of a sudden there is a change, right? A lot of women are doing this. Yeah. You know that thing. Yeah. Yes, a lot of women are doing this. So um, women, if you have money or you make money or something happens in the marriage and your husband's work goes off and you are supporting, don't think because you are doing it so, yeah. you have the power to overrule him or, or, or something yeah. and the main two your wife's job shouldn't be a threat definitely your wife's work shouldn't be a threat yeah. i think that the like men the must be secure way. the men must be secure in themselves yes to know that their wife's jobs or their the money their wives are making shouldn't threaten them yes if your wife is working Leave her to work. Let her enjoy it. Let the money be there. Have a conversation with her. Make a conversation. But some men to don't let it be like because her wife is working. She has to pay some bills. It's the man's responsibility. I beg you. I told her uh, counseling. But it's a conversation. Yes. A conversation. So it's a natural okay. thing for men to feel or have responsibility that sure. I have this family. I must take care of them. Yeah. I must have finances to take care of them. Yes. But then again, it's also men's thing that they would want to ask women for money. money. So, so yes. and it's also a thing that those men who are not secured in themselves, they know, they know and they are thinking that when their wives go to some job, some man somewhere will be uh, wooing them and doing yeah, things. Yeah. So that's not, these are some of the reasons, there are a lot of reasons why some women will not work. Sure. Then again, both of you should sit down and have a solid conversation, come to a conclusion that you move on from there. Yeah. So for us again, because I mentioned to her that she must have a lot of money, I've been doing business for a bit yeah. and I've understand the little things about money and business and how you can make money. So from the start, I've decided to set her up by her passion, yeah. her calling, so that yeah. by that she'll be able to raise money. The purpose of it is she, she we, we all need to support each, each other. other. So if she's not on a job to raise some finances, yeah. the support might be slow. I mean, you are not Bill Gates. My name Bill Gates, oh, yeah, Gates sure. <laughs> people support. For sure. You see, so both parties must support each other. Oh yeah, both parties must. For that one day, that's what I'm saying that. It's, it's a conversation. Yeah. Even though the woman is making the money, the man is making the money. But it sh that shouldn't mean that the woman should, like we were told at counseling, okay, mm -hmm. that shouldn't mean that the woman should should be putting in more. I understand at the moment if the woman is working and the man is working and the man's money is not coming up, I won't sit there and say my husband should come and provide. You yeah. get that? Yeah. You will provide, but if the money is there from your husband, your husband too has to do it right. Yeah. Okay, you do it right. And if there is something going wrong, the wife will just come. Do, you do, your husband doesn't even have to ask you to oh and it's can you you should know you know why you should know that there is no man you don't even let, have you don't have to let your husband come and tell you that there is no man you should just know and provide oh oh baby what's up oh um imagine your husband said oh what's up oh okay today i'll be providing for this okay there is no money i'll pay for this lights i'll pay for what what i do i'll pay for this i'll buy the provisions for this and it's nice yeah. okay uh-huh so that's what i'm well, that's what i mean that yes it's both hands. You don't leave everything to. No matter how rich your husband is. Yeah. When you the one, you go out and you see dress, you buy it for him. 
So it's the same thing when he yeah. goes and he's coming and he sees something, he'll buy for you. So it's both hands. Yeah. Yes. So that's what I mean. All right. So um, we believe this has helped you to learn something and come up with a conclusion of what to do. Yeah. They say these fingers are not the same. For sure. <laughs> And they are all together for a purpose. Yeah, for sure. That's the same thing. Your wife, your husband, work, not work, is together for a purpose. Just understand Just each understand other. Just understand each other and have conversations more. And have conversations, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you learn a thing or two, hit it in the comment. Let us know what you learn. Yeah. And stay tuned. Subscribe to this channel and recommend it to your friends. Let's <laughs> go together. Like. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Love you.